this, if you, if she's ever gassy, fussy, and you're trying to help her poop or fart, she's still in this newborn, like curled up fetal position. Yeah. So that tells us she's still a little immature. Fine, normal for her age. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pick her up and put my thumbs on her feet and rotate her straight, okay? This is basically a squatty potty position mm -hmm. that can help her fart and help her poop. So do you see how she's bearing down? She's mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm in a squatty potty. <laughs> yeah, does that feel good? I better lift your drawers up though because you're a little droopy and I don't want you to fart out, poop out. So just that nice, gentle start at the hips. If she's really tight, mm -hmm. you can always do like a little gentle rock. And just okay. kind of get her up there nice. And it's okay so to do that after a feed? You can do it after feeding. Now, I'm letting her belly out, right? So I'm not putting pressure on the belly. Gotcha. The hips are out to the side, so there should really be no pressure on there. Oh, does that feel good? Good stretches. You can always pull the legs. She doesn't want to. She's like, nope, I heard you can always pull the legs out and then bring them back in. But she's like, nope. Stretch, little shake. If she's tight, just little wiggles. There you go. And then bring her back up. Does it feel good? Try again. Ooh. Really tight. There you go. Good job. Then we're going to work up to her shoulder. So I see what you mean. This shoulder is actually up higher than the other one. Mm. So we're just going to, oh, I know we're going to lower those shoulders away from the ears. Mm. Ah, nice stretch. Now everything with babies is going to be nice and slow. So I'm just going to kind of hold and then release. She does like that one up higher than the other. So I'm just going to come in and hold away. I'm surprised she's turning this way because it's the opposite way. Of but look at how her body turn. is. Do you see how she's turned this way? Yeah. Their, their bodies are going to go in whatever direction the rest of the body's going in. Gotcha. So because I have her slightly off center, she's kind of going that way. So now that she's in the center, do you see how now mm -hmm. that she's centered, her head's going to kind of stay in the center? Oh, big stretches. Now I'm going to do what's called guppy. So I'm going to take her all the way to the top of my legs. And I'm literally just going to let her hang off. Now I've got her fully supported. Okay, her mm -hmm. whole body's touching mine. I have my hands on her chest. I have my hands on her arms. But I'm going to let that head open. Her head is physically touching the, my knees. Okay. okay, so she's not dangling. She's supported. But I'm gonna let just let her kind of be open. Do you mm -hmm. see how she's nice and calm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to stretch out. The stretch out the neck, stretch out the head, neck, shoulders. Ah, she likes that. I didn't think to do that. She really, you can tell she's like, oh, that's oh, that bless you. I needed that. Ah. I stretch my neck. I'm gonna see what she. I'm gonna release her hands. I'm gonna just kind of keep my. You can hold her like this, so mm -hmm. she feels more supported. You can let her hands go and just stay on her body and kind of see what she does. But she's going to feel totally... Oh, There's the poopers! <laughs> Thunder down check. under. Yeah. Yeah. But you can see she's like, oh, that oh. feels so... Now do you see what her body did? We yeah. stretched Relaxes. her legs and now her legs are like... Relaxed. Uh, she's super relaxed. Okay, so you can kind of let her stretch and hang. We're just going to kind of take our time. And how often should we be doing these stretches? Whenever she's in a quiet, happy, awake state. Okay. Okay, you can do it after a feeding. You can do it before a feeding. I tend to try to do it like before uh, feeding. Just yep. so she's not going to puke stuff up. Perfect. Oh, there's a big stretch. So you're always reading the baby's cues. She's been nice and calm and quiet for us. She's starting to get a little antsy in it. So I'm gonna read that cue as she's done. See her feet are starting to go, so I'm gonna pick her up. Now we can do those neck stretches next. So I'm gonna take her shoulder, her chin to her shoulder and just kind of hold. Ooh. And then I'm gonna let her come back to center. And then we're gonna go the other way. I know, and that you're right, that's the side she doesn't mm -hmm. wanna go to. So I'm not forcing her to. Okay. I'm trying to ease her into it. And I'm meeting some resistance, so I'm just mm -hmm. going to let her come back and then try again. Oh, there we go. See how she mm -hmm. eased into it? I kind of let her ease into it. 
and then back to center. And then, oh, good stretches. And then back the other way. That feel good? <laughs> She's smiling. I know. <laughs> and then back to center. You can go back and forth to each shoulder five times. Now again, she doesn't like that, so I'm gonna let her recover. Hi. And then try again. There you go. Does that feel good? You can see even as I do it side to side, she's kind of softening up for mm -hmm. it. So you do that five times each shoulder. And then you can just gently tip the ear to the shoulder. So it's like we do this. Okay. So it's just a gentle head tilt. And then center. And then the other side. Oh. And then center. And then the other side. There we go. And then the center. And then the other side. So five times tipping. Okay. And then you're done. Did that feel good? Yay. Yeah, there's a good smile. Do you want to change? Okay.